Okay, now I need to implement a couple more things, which is um, what is going to happen when the ball goes off the edge. So, um, if the ball goes here, this would be a score for the computer. And if the ball goes here, this would be a score for the human, because this side is going to be the computer side. So, first I'm going to create a couple variables. Um, and one is going to be score human. And the other is going to be um, score computer. And I'm going to go ahead and take those two variables and set them to zero. Score human to zero and score computer to zero when the game starts. Now um, I want to see what x is if it's here. So um, what is x kind of needs to be past the paddle. So maybe the paddle needs to go like this a little bit and then what happens if x is there. So what is x at that point? So um, I'm going to click on ball and I want to figure out where x is. Um, what is x position? So it's 223. So if x is greater than 223, it's going to be a point for the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and um, write a, another function, um, or build a block. I'm going to build a block which is kind of score check, make a block. And this is going to be a uh, motion block. I'll just put all my new blocks in motion. And this is going to be called score check. I'm going to hand the score check the x position of ball. So x position of ball is going to be there. Um, and I'm going to uh, say if the x position of ball is greater than, I think I said 223. Um, if x position of ball is greater than 223, is greater than 223, two, two, okay? Then I'm going to do something, which is I'm going to increase the score, change score computer by one, change score computer, and I'm going to uh, set the ball to zero, zero. Um, now I'm going to do this whole thing again. I'm going to check to see if the exposition of ball is less than negative 223. Oops, is less than negative 223. Of this. Then if that happens, that means the ball is all the way over here, and I'm going to change score human by one and go to x over x. Okay. So um, also, oh I should play a sound. Um, let's try a sound here, which is um I wonder if I can import some sounds. Import Libraries. Ooh, sounds. Good. There's some sounds I can import. And let's see. Let's see what these sound like. Finger snap. That's pretty good. It's useful. Um, what other sounds do they have here? Import sounds. Um, chord. Decent score sound. Okay, so what I will do is I will play sound. Um, chord until done. Play sound. Chord until done. And then I will go to zero zero. All right, so that's pretty good. 
So now I've got this new function called um, score check. I'm going to go to my ball, look at its scripts, and score check is going to go here. And I'm going to say um, x position of ball. And now, if the ball is moving, um, it's going to change the score. So let's make sure this works. So we're going to go to our variables, and we're going to say ball y is now 0. So we're no longer testing the, the bounce function. Actually, we can, test, we can test both of them. Watch this. All right, so, and bounce. Nice. So we've got this cool thing that shows it at the end. Oops. Clung. Now let's see what happens if we change x to, look at what's happening to um, computer score. Score computer keeps going up. So now let's set ball y to uh, 4 and ball x to negative 1. So now the ball goes the other way. I wonder why the ball isn't making any sounds when it's bouncing off the top and the bottom, because we actually had a sound in there. All right, so that looks good, um, but I don't like the fact that my sound seems to have disappeared on the upper lower bounce. So let's see what's going on there. I'm going to edit that. Play note, it's right there. Sound. Oh, I'm not hearing it anymore. Why is that? Um, I don't know. I'll solve that problem later.